Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is the Aimpoint Hunter Red Dot Sight. But it ain't on a hunting rifle, it's actually on a 9mm AR-15, a Schmeiser SP-9 to be precise. And I've been running, well I've been running this rifle and I've been running this scope for a long time now, it seems anyway. And I just wanted to give a bit of a review on the Aimpoint. I'm a massive fan of Aimpoint uh, optics. Uh, the red dots, just love them. I actually have several here in the Rat Cave and I'm going to cover them over uh, future videos. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to just uh, throw one out on this Aimpoint Hunter. Now, first of all, let me show you the box. So this is the box that uh, this one comes in. This is the Aimpoint Hunter H30L, to be precise. And uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while because like I say, I've been running this scope now for, well, this red dot site for a, a good while. Now, what do you get in the box? Well, you get the scope, which is clearly fitted to the rifle. Nice, decent box, um, well packaged. What I like about Aimpoint as well is you get a little tool to do all your adjustments. So that is cool. Really like that. And the manual is really good as well. Decent manual. It is in several languages, but it is how it is. Or it is what it is. But there's a bit of a diagram of the, uh, of the red dot itself. Now, I've been, that's pretty much, that's your box. I mean, that wouldn't have been a much of an unboxing video, would it, to be fair? But let's talk about the uh, uh, the the scope itself. I keep calling it a scope. The red dot itself. And what I'll do is I'll throw in all the sort of juicy specs down below in the details of the video. I might sort of put them up in that corner or whatever. But here we go. Here is the... Um, the Aimpoint Hunter scope. Now I've got this bolted on with, I think there's some vortex mounts that I've got on there. Now, these are obviously protective covers, lens covers. Often when you may have seen me shooting this rifle, I've always got these covers down because you can see through them and they don't, don't really affect anything um, as far as looking through although they probably do need a bit of a clean um but the endpoint hunter really really impressed with this little red dot now battery goes in there i think they've got like 50 year battery life something ridiculous like that dead easy to switch on you literally just press the plus keep cranking it up and you've just got loads of different uh, illumination settings and just crank it all the way down till it disappears. That's it, that's your on and off. There is no sort of specific uh, on and off. Um, here are your uh, adjustments for windage and elevation. And what you do is you take these covers off and if you see like the little uh, indents in there, the covers on here have those little in not indents but the little uh there we go show it better like that they have them so you basically you do your adjustment by sort of turning that and they they basically click and it actually tells you uh, up or right given you know with the arrow there so you can't sort of like lose lose where you're going with them so that is pretty cool dead easy to adjust dead easy to sort of zero i think this is pretty uh, i say it's zeroed it zeroed for about 50 meters but i've generally i'm generally sort of just shooting at steel gongs with this so it's not really i've not really got it set up for paper punching i mean 50 meters and beyond with it not having any magnification is not really ideal so i kind of put this I chose to put this on this rifle just for sort of giggles, you know, just for fast shooting really more than anything. I like the profile of it. It looks like a a normal sort of size scope, but it's a red dot. I could have put something smaller on it, I know. Maybe I will. I might just chop and change, but 
ideally for paper punching you want a a proper magnified scope on an AR-15 not so much a, a 9mm but I just thought what the hell it's appropriate I've been slapping steel with this thing at 100, 100 meters uh, with this red dot on no problem whatsoever but the idea of this particular red dot is it's a hunter it's for like wild boar shooting isn't it when you go on an aim points website um you can basically see that this thing is is built for uh sort of wild boar shooting in fact i think i might have a manual which i can refer to yes i've got one here in the rat cave i'll throw in some uh some sort of stills or whatever let's find the aim point hunter where is it and i'll be able to give you all the um specs as well where are we stand by i'll be there in a minute here we go aim point hunter now it looks like that yeah it's riding on a beretta there beretta brx1 there but this oh this is a h34l so a slightly different model that might be a later model um but it's going to be the same it's going to be the same sort of thing h h330l so that's the one i've got so dot size is 2 moa at 50,000 hours uh, battery life okay and it takes a cr2032 tube diameter is 30 mil weighs in at 247 grams and the mounting solution is as you can see two rings picatinny rings in it which i've got i think they are vortex uh, rings that i've got that's basically it for your specs um i'm sure there are i'm sure it digs deeper um in here but yeah just a great oh yeah, there we go look we can, i can read it i'll read it all to you guys i'll read it all to you so 30 mil tube available in the h30 series um large number of rings are available on the market 34 mil tubes are available in h34 so that's what the h30 and the h34 basically um describes is the uh, tube diameter front and rear transparent lens covers included as i've shown you silent digital push button intensity adjustment for ease of use in the field while wearing gloves yeah i can vouch for that definitely uh, modern design with classic lines optimized for both left and right-handed shooters well how can you get a, an optic that's designed for left or right-handed shooters i don't get that but anyway but yeah the controls on it they're sort of rubberized here totally waterproof and i think these are shockproof these aim points are i mean they are decent there's some of the best um red dot optics available on the market but like i said not really designed for this style of rifle this you know and for what i do where i'm just you know pinging steel and just messing about really it's a hunting red dot so ideal an ideal rifle like as it is pictured in uh, aim points catalog is um something like a beretta brx1 a straight pull rifle ideal for sort of fast um wild boar shooting you know that sort of action packed uh, hunting where you need like a, a you know you've got to be on target pretty fast absolutely ideal but i just thought i'd run this uh, video tell you how i'm getting on with it you know not really a hunting scenario like i said which i'm using it in but nevertheless uh, this red dot has been performing really well for me and i'm just such a bit of a i'm a bit of an aim point fan boy if I do say so myself but very impressed with oh i'm sorry guys i'm just pulling cables and knocking my camera about but yeah i've been impressed with this thing so far really really have and it does look cool on an ar-15 there's no doubt about it that does look cool anyway i'm gonna leave it at that guys thanks for watching thanks for watching more aim point videos coming up uh, I've got several other models that I've been running. I will get those on the channel uh, in due course. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. That's Rack and Load. See ya.